Hey everyone, it's Lucy from kbeautyharbor.com. I thought I'd go ahead and do another nail tutorial because you really seem to enjoy them. So today I have another brand of Asian Beauty nail stickers. These are Gelato Factory and they are, I think it's a collaboration with Tony Moly because the, the name here is Tony Moly Hotto Hotto Nail Fit Sticker. I bought these on Jolzy. I'll put the links in the description box. But really the brand is Gelato Factory and you can kind of see that here under the sticker. Uh, and this is the Gelato Factory logo here. So I, I don't think it's uncommon for uh, companies to do like a collab like that. So they are fully cured nail stickers ready to use. And you'll need just a few basic tools for this. Hopefully you have those already. So some sort of manicure set. You can use nail clippers, I prefer nail scissors, a rubber tip cuticle pusher, optional but highly recommended, a metal cuticle pusher, definitely highly recommended, some kind of nail file. I have this one. This little one comes with the nails, but it's actually not my favorite. It's pretty flimsy. If you have nothing else, this will probably work, but I prefer something different. And then I'll show you some optional steps that will really make these bulletproof for two weeks. For those optional steps, you need some kind of gel um, top coat. I have this gelish brand here. You can use something else, but I'll show you exactly what to do. I don't love spending time doing my nails. And so if I'm going to do them, I want them to last the full two weeks and not just last two weeks. I want them to look perfect for two weeks. Okay, so step one, we're going to prep the nails and that is often the most time consuming step. Do not skip it because it really, really affects the longevity of your stickers. So the first thing I do is push down the cuticle. You do whatever you want, but I don't cut mine. Uh, that basically opens up your nail to potential infections. Plus a lot of the times the cuticle grows out jagged and it just looks strange. But if you push it down, that's good enough. And you really want to do a good job without going too harsh here because there's such a thing as invisible cuticle, you may not be able to see it with the naked eye, but it's there. And if you put any kind of sticker on skin, and cuticles are skin, those stickers are not going to stick very well. So this is like the first step of ensuring a long lasting application. Okay, so I push the cuticle down. I'm not going to trim my nails at all. Even if they were longer, I wouldn't. My nails are usually short by choice, but I will show you when to trim your nails, so don't do it yet. So I'm going to just wipe off with an alcohol pad. You can use whatever brand you want. This is just something I picked up cheap from Costco. You may hear my kids in the background. Trust me, they're okay. There was dad. So I like to wipe this off because there could be some loose little pieces of cuticle that were maybe pushed off slash removed and I just don't want anything on my nails. If you have a lint-free pad, that's probably even better. These are not lint-free, but they've been working okay for me. And the next thing I'm going to do, it's an optional step. This is the Gelish pH Bond. It's basically glorified rubbing alcohol, but it further degreases the nail and helps your stickers last longer. You could just stop at the alcohol wipe. They basically do the same thing, but this pH bond came in the set with my gel. And so I just use it out of habit, more or less. If you have very, very, very dry nails, perhaps skip this step. You don't have to be super precise. It's like I said, basically just rubbing alcohol. All right, that's it for prep. Now we're ready to go ahead with the stickers. So this one set is enough for two manicures for me. That will probably vary a bit based on your nail size and what shapes of these or what sizes of these fit your nail. The parts that are facing the middle, that's your cuticle side. So the, the nail design will go like this. So you will start by picking the sizes. I, I, I try to stay to one side and keep the other side kind of untouched so that for my next manicure it's ready to go and I have a whole side left. So you want to pick something that is close to your size 
if you have to choose between going a little bit too wide and a little bit too narrow, go with a little bit too narrow. It's okay to have a little bit of the nail bed showing on the sides. Trust me, nobody would notice. But having it too wide, you're basically guaranteeing it overlapping with your skin. And that's exactly where your wrap or your sticker will start lifting. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This looks pretty good to me. I've done this brand before, so I kind of know the sizing. So you can use tweezers here if you'd like, or you can just use your hand. And we're going to line it up as close to the cuticle as you can without actually going over the skin. And you have to pardon my really dry nails. Well, first of all, it's still winter here. So of course my nails are nice and dry. Second of all, I cook a lot with turmeric, which tends to dye my natural nail yellow. It does not affect the color of like the stickers. So don't worry. So if, you, if you are cooking with lots of spices, you shouldn't have any problems with them dyeing your stickers. They do dye the natural nail. So, and then I like to use a rubber cuticle pusher to really smooth, smush this, smush, smush, <laughs> smush this down. Because the more contact you can have with your natural nail, the better these will stick. So let's do one more nail and then I'll show you the next step. So let's see. Kind of want maybe this one. Hmm. I'll go with this one. This one seems a little too big. If something is a little bit too big, you can go ahead and trim the sides. It just gets a little annoying. So I try to get whatever would fit the closest straight out of the package. So again, as close to the cuticle as you can without actually going over it. It's a little bit hard to do on camera because I basically have to look through the camera lens. Uh, make sure everything stays in focus. In real life, this takes me a lot less time. I usually do it while I'm watching TV or something like that after the kids are in bed. All right, and then we're gonna take this cuticle pusher, smush it down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the nails off camera and then we'll go to the next steps. So I got almost done with my right hand and I thought I'd show you this next part. So this little sparkly one is the one that I want to use on my thumb, but it's a little bit big. I mean, you can just tell that it's going to be a little bit big at that cuticle side. So it's as simple as just taking your manicure scissors and I'm going to make it a little bit more straight and just cut it and curve the bottom and now it should fit much much better and you can see how it's basically perfect now So that was the last finger on this hand. So now what we're going to do obviously is cut off this excess uh, stuff. Uh, and that's why I don't trim my nails ahead of time. So if your nails are super long, definitely feel free to shorten them a little bit. But I like to trim them when I trim these little stickers and I kind of cut a little bit of the nail with the sticker and that way they are exactly the same size. Oop. There it went flying. So you're left with a very even cut, but sometimes the finish, the edge, isn't the smoothest, and that's where we take a file. You don't want to file in different directions. You don't want to do this back and forth because you can fray your sticker and your nail, actually, for that matter. So I like to go kind of this way down and that further makes the nail and your sticker exactly the same length and there's absolutely no problem to leave your nail longer if you're somebody who enjoys really long nails go for it 
I just don't. I have two small kids and um, just lots of diapers and I work on a computer, I type a lot and long nails just get in my way. Feel free to kind of clean it up here as you go if there are any weird little bits. And then again, you can kind of shape your nail with your nail file. Now I probably should have done a better job with this one to make the line line up more with my knuckle. Uh, so that one is a little crooked. You can very carefully remove it and redo it. I'm just not that motivated today. So if you're about to leave me a comment that this line is crooked, don't worry about it. I can already tell. I did both hands, applied the nails, trimmed them, and then filed the edges to make them nice and smooth. Now, theoretically, you can just go ahead and stop right here. That's all that the product says as far as application. You supposedly done after this. But like I mentioned, I really don't like spending time on these and then having them peel at the tips or something like that. So I really want them to last a good two weeks looking perfect. So we're going to do this optional step. Now these gloves right here are UV protection gloves because I'm going to be using a UV lamp, something you'd use to cure gel. You can use whatever you want. I just have one that I've had for a few years. So we're going to put a gel top coat on these. Can you use one that doesn't require a lamp? Sure, I prefer the ones that do require a lamp. I find them to be the most bulletproof, but I haven't tried like every single brand out there. So maybe there's something that does not need a lamp and you're fine. So the first step is going to be putting the base coat and depending on your gel, um, usually gels are designed to go over a base coat. Like they won't just stick to bare nail or to a sticker. So even though I am only doing the clear, I still do the base coat and then the top coat, um, not just the top coat. So what we're going to do is cap the tip. So we're going to cap the free edge, basically covering that edge where we have the nail and the sticker meet. We're going to start there because if you start at the bottom of the nail and then cap the tip, at the end, you're going to have this like thicker area at the tip and I don't like that. But if you start with the tip and then do the rest of the nail, then it smooths out that little bulge at the tip. I don't know if it makes sense what I'm saying, but hopefully if you've ever done it yourself and did the this motion first and then capped the tip, you probably have seen that it just makes this a little thicker bulge. So. We're going to do this to all the nails. Um, I usually do one hand at a time. So I'm going to do all of my left hand, uh, cure it, then put a top coat on it, exactly the same way, capping the tip first and then doing the rest of the nail and then curing it under the lamp. It is nearly impossible for me to do a good job while also trying to film. So I'm going to do the steps off camera. I'll cure them and then we'll keep going. I did the base coat actually on both hands because I'm lazy. Um, I didn't want to uncap that thing twice. While this is curing, I thought I'd mention a couple things. So one, about the gloves, any brand will do. I'll put a link in the description box uh, for something but uh, basically they protect your hands from the UV exposure from the lamp. And as far as I know, even the LED lamps have a little bit of UV exposure in them, but especially the UV lamps for sure. And um, I don't know if it's enough to really cause skin cancer, for example, over years of use, but I know that any amount of UV can age the skin and I don't want any age spots on my hands because that really betrays age very quickly. And then another thing, when you are applying your base and your top coats, or just the top coat, depending on what you're using, take care not to overlap that with your skin, because what will happen when you cure it is it will cure hard, and you will have this sheet of hard gel with part of it being on the skin. And the part that's on the skin will 
definitely start to lift and then it will break off and take with it some of the gel that's on your main nail so that's another little tip for making them last as long as possible now if you did get some of it on your skin no big deal just take a either your cuticle pusher or like a little orange stick and just wipe that off before you cure and then you should be okay the base coat is cured but it's still going to be sticky tacky and soft so don't touch it um, now we're going to do the top coat this is the gelish brand top it off i really like this it came in a set of four. So the three bottles you saw today, the pH bond, the base, and uh, the top coat. And then also it had a bottle of cuticle oil, which I keep by the couch where I watch TV and I put it on in the evenings. So I'll put a link in the description box. This is not a sponsored video by anybody, but I do like these products. So same thing as the base coat, which is going to apply the top coat and cure it the top coat is now cured it's still going to be tacky to the touch so we need an alcohol prep pad to finish the process and all you do is just wipe off that sticky part and i always recommend you wash your hands with soap after this too just to get any kind of residue off of your skin and stuff especially if you're going to go do something like cook which is what i'm going to do after this Okay, so they're done now. They're hard. And look more or less like gel. This is not my favorite kind of sticker at all. They're not horrible, but they're just not the best. They last okay. The reason I don't like them, well, two reasons. One, the sizing is just not the best for me. This is what's left after the one application. I did mess up my thumb. I was doing off camera, so I had to use one from the other side. But it's just strange to me how um, they don't have enough sizes really to fit my nails perfectly. But that's that's a personal preference. Um, so that Or not even a preference. That's just physiology so they might be perfect for somebody else but the another reason i don't love them is they're kind of thick and not very pliable you can even tell without it being off the sheet how it's kind of hard and i feel like that interferes with their adherence to the nail if you're into nails i highly recommend my playlist uh, for nails i have a tutorial for dashing diva which is fantastic the price point is about the same as these ones however i know not all the countries can get dashing diva so maybe this is the best you can get it's still not horrible and then another brand i enjoy is ohora it's a lot more expensive and but that's the one that comes semi-cured so the stickers are soft they're semi-cured gel you put them on and then you stick your hands onto the lamp and the stickers themselves harden and cure so that's kind of cool um at least cool to try i'm going to leave you with that i hope you enjoyed the video please leave me a comment if you know of other brands of nails that you're loving that you want me to try let me know and maybe i'll try them i don't make any promises but i always take feedback into consideration so I hope this was useful. If not, then maybe it was just enjoyable for you. Let me know. I hope you're having a wonderful week. I'll see you in my next video. And until then, please remember to always listen to your skin. Thank you so much. Bye.